Welcome back to King's Quest 2, and now, as we learned in the last part, we're... Part 4. Yeah. Angelina wants us to get a Nightingale from Agatha, the witch, before she kisses the magic lamp, so... So, I suppose we need to... To the bath... To... Alright, so, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, to the bath cave! Okay, so let's see. So so far in each part, we've had something where one of us has mentioned Ace Attorney at some point. Like Dwib's playing an Ace Attorney game or mentioning something. I have to think of something to heap help keep the tradition. Jova, I don't Oh, I have an idea. Hey Jova, here's an idea. How about commenting on the game we're watching? There's a good idea. I do both. I'm just saying, keeping a tradition with the whole theme that apparently somehow, some way, we've had Ace Attorney mentioned in each part. Not really because. Anyway, of okay. So basically, we have to get inside the cave. So well, what, what exactly true, are we going to do? Ah, it is a human please. skull with large eye sockets. Oh, nice. Okay. okay. Uh, can you talk to it? Uh, now let's look at this one. It is ah. a human skull with a radiant blue stone wedged hmm. into its eye socket. Laser. Ooh, a sapphire. Give okay. me. So it's a matter of using basic thinking. Okay, so what's the difference between the two skulls? There's uh, maybe if if I have a blue gem just like the one that actually is in the other skull. So maybe if I try to put this gem As you here, maybe something to place will happen. the birth gem into the skull. You discover that it does not fit properly. Instead, it juts out uselessly like a bulging eyeball. Thank you for the metal image. In that case, so... I'll, in that case I'll just have to push it ram it with the hammer. I smash it with a hammer. <laughs> you gently Creative. tap the birth gem with the mallet, hoping not to break it. It budges only slightly. You give it a harder hit. It moves a bit more. You hold your breath and give the gem an <laughs> almighty thwack. It pops into the skull. Yay. There no, no. Could you back to the right to the right of the wild lives? <laughs> the birth nah. gem is now fully inside okay, the skull. Okay, now the skull looks like the Terminator. <laughs> All right, so now what we do is King Graham, now we turn it the towards, towards the okay. image of the bat above the cave. You notice that its um. wing has faded slightly. However, you suspect that whatever danger the bat represents is still in effect. Indeed, that's because I have to turn the other skull. You turn the rightmost skull so that it faces what if you just the go straight in? above the cave entrance. If I go straight in, I'll die, but don't worry, Dwebs. After we're done with this, with the, the, the story, we'll do the, the depths. How exactly will you die? The to disappear. <laughs> you sense whatever danger it represented has now subsided. Indeed. So what sort of death would happen? Would, like, you'd don't be worry, lost don't, forever? Don't don't wa Joba, Joba, we'll do the death, we'll comment on the deaths after we're done with the story, so let's save it for that. Yeah, curious, basically, so. we'll do a compilation of deaths. Yeah. <laughs> Does it really matter though? Oh, I mean, oh, oh trust me, Job, it does. Like the some of the one of the best things about King's Quest is dying. Yes, that's the great thing about King's Quest. Because it's creative. That's, 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 that's the great thing about King's Quest. Even even oh, you mentioning this. That's the great thing about King's Quest. Even dying is cool. There's some things of interest on the other side of the cave, but you have no means of crossing over there. You are made of stupid at this time. A caged nightingale sits on the oh. floor near the northern cave wall. All right, so the that's what I have to take. Also, it's, of this it's cave. very funny because so the way you distance, this game is narrated, the situation is presented, it really uh, throws back to the old uh, uh, tabletop RPG He's like the end. Yeah. You slide your okay, so I'm, the I have to be careful and not go too near her, otherwise she'll not. I mean, as the narrator said, uh, the, the cave is kind of dark, so she can't quite see me as long as I uh, stay away from her. Device. Okay, so what now? Taking the nightingale? Yes, but first I have to cover with a cloth, otherwise it will start chirping if I try to take it right away. Okay. You silently drop the cloth over the cage. Had a bad night's sleep, Jova? Oh no, no, no! I had a, you slide I had a bad the night's sleep. Key into Just the lock. It fits. Yawned. You turn it silently, and the chain falls to the ground. Okay. Indeed. Now I can take it. Without making a sound, you take the nightingale into your possession. Yeah, take it into, into your dimensional pocket. Okay, and now let's get the fuck you out of here. Let's the... begin a chant of some kind oh, while boy. stirring her brew. The fluid of blood with bone and flesh. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Bye, yeah, lady. Yeah, don't have time. <laughs> so does that shit mean anything? Uh, if you stick around and listen to it all, she will eventually end and she will notice you. Interesting. You strike the skull with all your strength, and it shatters easily. 
the birth gem clatters to the ground along with a multitude of bone fragments. Indeed. Great. So when that. Uh, we so we take back the gem, but it's needed. Yeah, we you remember, Jova. We're here to get the three oh, yeah, gems. Right, we need uh, sorry, guys. Um, uh, I'm a little bit under the weather at the moment, so I'm taking a lot of drinks. That's okay. Okay. Anyway, Having cold socks. Oh, okay, sure. Anyway, we got ourselves a nightingale. So back to Angelina's shop we go. <sighs> when you say Angelina, I keep thinking you mean Angelina Jolie. Maleficent's going to uh, come bursting in any moment, and that would be kind of cool, I guess. It depends on the situation. I mean, yeah, how Croft. Someday we'll have to do a wrap-up discussion of that movie. A uh, what movie? <sighs> Maleficent. I think we, we already do. Did we have to though? We've done the, we've done the whole movie. I know, yeah. but Jova wants well, a comparison to the original Sleeping Beauty movie. A comparison. Oh, I didn't necessarily mean that. I mean, like, well, you know, an actual discussion uh, if, about if the Maleficent If we have to be movie. honest, Joe, if we have to be honest, Joe and Pedro, Maleficent herself has more characterization in the Kingdom Hearts series than in the original cartoon. <laughs> well, uh, well, but that, but, who said she does it? Well, but that's the thing. That that movie was made in the 50s, so uh, there's that excuse. Anyway, I suppose. 2002. You remove the cloth um, and, the and besides, Teal, um, are you saying that the Maleficent in the movie was better than the Maleficent the in the original? No, 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 he's not. Not really. He's just I'm, I'm, he didn't even I'm, I'm say anything like that. The what are you, what are you even the, bringing that up? You read the letter. Why, all of a sudden? My dear sister, it has been a while since my last letter to you, and quite an age since we last spoke. Such are the busy lives we lead. I know of your preoccupation with eliminating your competition, and wish you well in that ongoing endeavor. As for my part, the seven that I have owned for the past 17 years is soon to come <laughs> of age. It will almost be a shame to kill this one. For yeah, you want to do this one? Chores. Oh my uh, god! So but as a right. terms, I shall require a replacement in the not too distant future. Perhaps I should think up a new name for my next slave. Though it is with much easier that when I need only remember one. I have asked the father to notify me at once, should you hear of any likely candidates. Speaking of which, though it is in no way my place to question the will of the father, for surely he has the best interest of all his followers at heart, does he not spend so much time locating that item of legend which he has been seeking for almost a millennium? See? While he is not to be second-guessed, I do wonder, is he so assured of his existence that he is willing to turn his attention away from his flock for so long a time? What? As for our remote What's brother, that? he seems increasingly interested in the ladies these days. <laughs> I believe he has his eye on a royal couple who are expected to conceive a girl within the year. Also, yes. as I say, I must confess, if he's prepared to wait so many long years for the child's maturation before abducting her, he has far more patience than I. Okay. I await your reply, dear sister. I hope that this letter finds you well. If you have the chance to speak with the father, perhaps your requirements for his commitment to the ICC six. I'm advised to stick with his cousin. That's the only one that's up. My God, this world is insane. They talk about having <laughs> slaves. No, but that, no, 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 you see, no, don't, don't worry, don't, don't worry, Joe. But this is a, this is a, this is some foreshadowing for the next game. I was, Kings a, I was afraid. I, I didn't know when Pedro was going to cut the letter off, so um, I, that's why, that's why so I sped up at the, the end. The letter puzzles yeah. you, but, but you put it away. Yeah, but even still, though, what the heck? See, see, even the narrator said that the letter puzzles us. You see, Joe, but I'll explain later. Hold on. Is this guy from Columbia from Bioshock Infinite? Hold on, Joe, I'll explain later. Oh, sorry. <laughs> For sorry. now, let's just I give just the Nightingale that. back. <sighs> Okay, joke over, or rant, or whatever. Don't worry, Joe, I'll explain exactly what that letter was all about. You offer the Nightingale to Angelina. The sheer elation on her face only makes the whole mosque worth the while. <laughs> she snatches it from you and proceeds to fuss <laughs> over the bird. You How rude. Moment, but it seems she no longer notices you. Wow. <laughs> oh no, you don't. You don't mind about the lamp you promised me and trade for the Nightingale? The shopkeeper looks up at you vaguely. She gradually remembers that there is another <laughs> being in her world. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah, take it. You'll have no beginning of use with it. Don't you mean no end of use? Of course. Whatever you say, dear. Wow. <laughs> you hear Angelina muttering cheerfully. Well, to, to be honest, as you gave exits. her the bird, so. Finally, I have the final ingredient for that marvelous use. Uh, of I'm going to uh, give you to the punch, my dear. Uh, <laughs> are you sure it was a good idea? Sweet, juicy thing to yourself. Um, she's gonna eat it. 
<laughs> you feel a gonna from eat your the stomach. bird. Well, at it's least part of a love potion. Nice. You see, both Agatha, both, Ag both Agatha and Angelina are actually you witches, the and uh, they need a nightingale to create a youth potion so they can become young again. Oh, let's see. What's so, are we ever gonna run into Angelina again in that regard? Happens. No. Huh. Because, uh, and you'll see why in a moment. A small puff of smoke oh, I love this letter. Uh, I love what's gonna happen. I love the joke that's coming. Revealing. In a I'll, I'll read this one, by the way. A okay. note. As you read oh, it, no. the lamp disappears. You read the scroll. Okay. Okay. <laughs> To the unlucky fool who bought this lamp, as you may have gathered, this lamp no longer contains a fabulous genie as my former master, praise him in his greatness, has released me with his final wish. However, as a consolation, please be advised to the following. The shopkeeper is not to be trusted. She dabbles in the black arts and keeps rather distasteful company. May these words reveal the, what lies beneath. So hard like a stone and white like the snow. Stand silent the man who guards what's below. May you forever know the beauty of freedom. Signed, Nibor Sima Will, genie. Yes, and yes, that's an anagram for Robin Williams. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, but, um, you sort of made a letter that we... Wait, but it tells us not to buy the lamp. No, oh no, boy. no, this is just the genie trolling whoever rubs the lamp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> turns, turns, yeah out, turn, turns, turns, out Rob, turns out Robin Williams' genie is a dick. Upon closer it got me imagining Robin Williams singing Never Gonna a Give a You Up. Latch. <laughs> the latch and watch an amazing so yeah, like that, that letter was a that, that, that poem the in the letter was a hint towards the fact that we can push this oh, latch and find the trapdoor here. So are we going in? Yep. Yep. Close the trap door behind you. Of course. Okay. Um. You see there, around. There's one more letter. There's one more letter here, and while this letter is going on, I'll explain the other the letter, letter to you, Joe. Basically, that letter was written by Mananan. Who's Mananan? He's the villain of the third game, so we're eventually going to find out more about this that, that whole slave thing. Oh, that's thing. why he mentioned slaves and everything. Okay, okay. okay. you don't have to read it. Basically, oh, that, that, uh, basically, Jova. Um, As you pick up the uh, carpet, you, the, you, might, you might have also noticed how they talked about the, 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 the you, 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 must, you might have also noticed about that I lost I property of sure. Al Din. Sure. You. From the back room, you discern <laughs> Funny. Angelina's voice. Oh boy. Ooh. I did uh, I'll, I'll explain later. I did it. The youth potion is finally finished. All I need to do now is drink it. Oh boy, I don't think it's gonna go I well. I sense karma coming! Show yourself, oh boy. you scurvy wench! Scurvy? Uh, Are you a pirate? My dear! <laughs> what an unexpected surprise! Don't you play the fool Oh boy. I know you stole it! <laughs> Stop! it's called muting your mind. Really? I do not know. Silence! For your life. Silence! Deceit, there can be Silence! Silence! No! Oh boy. Please! I'm yeah. And one more thing. Ouch. Avada Kedavra? She killed him. Uh, her, killed yeah. her, actually. Whatever. Your so. invitation to join us is revoked. I'll remove you from this? my Facebook friend list. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, the screen shook. But yeah, uh, that's because uh, that on. always happens whenever we see something bad happening outside of what the screen oh. and stuff. Something. Oh, she let the youth oh, potion God. fall. What was that spell Clumsy. called? Oh boy, we need to act to fast. Okay, so now we have to. Uh, yeah. So yeah, she now she doesn't know about the trap door, does she? No, 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 no. She's gonna use a spell to, you, you know, remove floorboards. So we have to get the fuck out of here before she comes back. Wait, she does potion. come back? Yes, yes. Yep. She's gonna well, use a spell to. Back, uh, she turned you into a toad. As she just said, what was that spell for removing floor Cautious Curses. Curses. I'll just you have to look and we'll go back and look it up. So slightly. So what happens if she comes back? Does she turn you into a toad? Uh, she kills you. you make your Basically, uh, Swims. It's called muting your mic. Well, sorry. I just had to take some paracetamol. The latch. The trap anyway, Jova, basically, into the floorboards once more. Um, you, you might have also noticed in the letter how it talked about the item from a millennium ago. Yes. That's uh, that's that's the, the 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 power of the 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 first king of Daventry, the famous wizard. You know, but so basically, there's this organization. Teo played King's Quest Six, so he knows about this. There's this organization yeah. in uh, going behind the um, the scenes called the Society of the Black Cloak. And its leader is called the Father, who also got mentioned in that letter. So basically, it's 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 all establishing a lore that's going to go on throughout the entire series, basically. Yeah. 
Um, nice. In King's Quest VI, that was the first time they actually brought the Society of the Black Cloak. I didn't quite explain what the Black Cloak was. And so, the so these fan remakes are trying to ex and and to make it all connected. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Like so As you ascend, you wonder if I Apparently, somebody didn't put us here. Sides and under on the magic carpet. Yeah, if only you, if, if only you were riding an animal in the air, I'd have made a Harry Hold Potter on. hippogriff reference. My, my Any, video. But yeah, no, a but, poisonous a snake. snake. But, but, your path but anyway, Paige, we're going it back to what I was asking. What exactly happens if Agatha up, removes the floorboards and finds you? How does she kill you? Guys, guys, my video. The snake my video got my, my video glitch. What time are we at? Okay, okay, okay. Fifteen thirty-seven. Uh, Fifteen thirty. Go ahead. Sixteen uh, minutes. For some reason, the video went fucking nuts. It, I know that happened to me simple, earlier. But carefully but carefully woven woven of okay, fifteen grass, what? A shiny sixteen minutes. From it. Oh, sixteen minutes. All right, I'll go to sixteen and. Okay, I'm at sixteen nine. I'm at sixteen twenty, and you guys are gonna about to. So tell me. Okay, when. I'll tell you. You dangle the shit. Hey, anyway, Pedro, just asking. What happens if you have a. Wait till I'm ton it in, Joe. 1620. Actually, yeah, fashion. wait. Yeah, I'll wait till that. 10 seconds left. And so we're about to go six, to another cave. 5, 4, 3, three 2, two reach into the cave 1, and feel around. Go. go. What is this? Okay. You've discovered so we're about to see a little Easter egg. So we're about to see a little Easter egg that I'm sure Tail will love. Good. <laughs> anyway, Pedro, just wondering. How Hold does on, Jova, Easter egg. egg. Hold on, Jova, Easter egg. Oh, hi, guy, Russian. In an instant, a man. No, actually, no. Uh, that's a different. He uh, appears to be that's a different company. Uh, much like yourself. Theo. Greeting. I know. I am King Graham of Daventry. Let me guess. He's the a protagonist in a later game. game. Without a word, uh, you're on. You're on the right track, but not quite. <laughs> is he Christopher Lloyd? Lloyd? No. Meaning of You'll see. From where do you hail, good sir? This is a, an Easter egg for Sierra fans. Answer, you you guys will get only me and Tail will get this. Only me and Tail will get this. Deciding that irrelevant exposition would serve neither party. You mean the Sierra fans? Behind you. Might I inquire something of your identity? After a brief search of his own person, the man pulls out a scroll card. Hero of Spielberg. You unroll it. Yeah. Reads. Yep. Having this is a reference to Quest for Glory, which is another uh, series. Correspondence yeah. school. The bearer is a qualified would-be hero. The man also shows you a medallion. Upon it are the words, Hero, hero of Spielberg. Spielberg. You reverently return the scroll <laughs> to the man. You don't say much, do you? With a Not sigh really. Of resignation, so, this came out in 2002. Silently. This game, yeah. Surely you might speak to me so, of your um, well, this version of the game. The so, Minority Report the and Cat's Movie Can came out this year. Adventure to you. Mm -hmm. Just as he is about to speak, however... He got hit with a bus. He away. You Glorious. notice something yeah. on the ground that I the haven't man even must seen Hold on. He dropped something. Let's see what it is. What is? You retrieve Not the paper. It appears to be a scroll. Upon it is some writing. Disclaimer, you have just witnessed a rather shameless plug for the remake of Quest for Glory 2 Trial by Fire <laughs> by the entities of AGB Interactive. Available now. Okay, I don't know what As that was, and even I got a laugh out of that. Mind, Basically, um, aside from making King's Quest remakes, uh, final, uh, AGDI also remade uh, Quest for Glory 2 in, using this exact same engine. So this is a little shameless plug for it. <laughs> okay, now anyway, Pedro, could you please answer the question? What exact, how, does exa how exactly does Hagatha kill you if she removes the floorboards? Uh, again, Jova, we're going to have a part dedicated to the deaths. Why don't you just wait for that? You flip through the yeah. game entitled Because I would like to know. Fine, she throws a spell at you and then you automatically disappear. The first half there, happy. A list of Thank you. Yes. Do not yes. Anyway, you have no desire to inflict anyway, upon others. Um, However, yeah. the cures. Yeah, this way I'll, I'll just spoil everything for Jova. Basically, Jova. That's different, though. That's spoiling something that we sort of are already technically past. Now these something in the future. I'd rather not break that rule. Well, my Spoiler, if you protected. touch water, you get wet. Anyway, basically, Jova, okay, the, the, the that thing that, that works. basically, Jova, the thing that the rem the fan these fan remakes are trying to do is that they're trying to expand upon something that was introduced in King's Quest VI by basically having all the villains of all the games be connected through the Society of the Black Cloak. Basically, it's an in and uh, we're gonna basically they're all in charge of the father. Who's the father? Well, he's a he's a big mysterious villain who's who's looking for the treasure of the first Daventry King's power. 
basically. So and so we're gonna learn about that eventually later on in this game. We're, learn, we're gonna eventually see that too in in King's Quest Three. So basically, there. When did we face up against the father? Unfortunately, we never got to do that because those these remakes were made like the, the, these are remakes, you know. Like unless they event, basically, the, what they're oh, trying I... to do was like uh, try to maybe do what you toss, uh, try to give us a little flower into um, insight into what maybe Sierra would have probably done if they were actually able to probably continue the King's Quest series instead of, you know, what happened after six. You what happened the after six? No, the, the King's Quest Seven was a good game, but it was kind of a betrayal to care. what the the series was. Like uh, it, 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 it Wait, was, how it, can something be a good game yet a betrayal? Well, it's just that the like they dumbed down the game and, and the, the story considerably. Like the the, 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 the seventh game completely ignored most of what was established in the previous the games, and uh, in, 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 it had a much more. Like while it was a, a good, funny, cartoony, goofy story, it still kind of ignored most of the lore, and um, it it it, 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 like, it had very little in common with the actual with King's Quest series. Feather. But so then we again, never faced the father in, in any of the games group. after six. No, unfortunately, no. Alas, well, that sort of well this in is the well that is, that's the thing that's kind of a downer and of hindsight blame blame Roberta Williams for trying to turn King's King Quest King into an action uh, game. Try not to damage yeah. it. A magnificent ah. clear. Well, you gonna save Roberta Anyway, basically, what we're doing here, we found uh, this is the uh, wizard. Do you remember that wizard that kept chasing after us? The well, this is his house. Basically, we found this spell oh book. Basically, we found this spell book, and uh, there's a spell for making a, 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 a protective emerald, an emerald that protects us from spells. So we're gonna make one. Because it's gonna be really. Is there a case where he sneaks up on you in here? Actually, that's exactly what I'm gonna show off. Anyway, it's like. But, like fortu but fortunately, by, by the, fortunately, by the time he does show up, I already have the emerald, so I'm protected against his magic. Words. Crystal, perfect. Perfect. Green is thy He's hue. My who? Restore. Restore. Correct. Correct. Guard well my form. Preserve. Protect. <clears throat> Shazam! You recite the words Indeed. correctly, line for He's line. He's made a green lantern. Sure enough, only a brilliant so now we're vulnerable to the wizard's attack. All right, now I'm going to stay around for a bit, so, not to so I can wait for the wizard because the scene where we convert the wizard is pretty awesome. So I, I wanted to keep that in. Picking it up. Uh, so okay, Jova. So uh, any qu other questions you might want to no give me now? To cool. Okay, so does this mean that I go from now on? Whenever you run into the wizard, he won't be able to hurt you. No, he won't, because I'm protected by the emerald. Sweet, so then what happens every time he encounters you? Well, uh, actually Despite it's not going to happen because I'm going to specifically wait for him fortune, here so I can menace him with my sword. Oh, cool! You notice that some writing has been Anyway, basically, into the yeah. Ba basically, Jova, the whole society of the Black the Cloak, the thing in King's Quest VI, was invented by, um... In Rolls, in Rolls Stones, Stones number six, 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 half, half and a pair half from left to pick, pick quell them, my spells, I'll avoid, avoid the, the tricks. tricks. Basically, Jova, the thing is, like, uh, with King's Quest VI, they, uh, Sierra was about to introduce the Society of the Black Cloak, and they were trying to, you know, um, do something with it and stuff. But then King's Quest VII went in a completely different direction, which just put a lot of fans, including me. So these fans, who are King's Quest purists, they decided to try to somehow give some kind of closure to the fans, who then got to learn more about the Society of the Black Cloak. It's a shame you know, they didn't include a fight with the father, then. I know, well, but for that to be possible, they would have to actually remake King's Quest Seven a with a completely different story and everything. And I'm not sure. Wait, 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 wait. Most of the titles are written in a mysterious language. Hold on. So King's Quest Seven was supposed to be in a, a conclusion. So no, King's Quest Seven. Like I already explained, Jova. King's Quest Seven completely ignored everything that the, the previous six games did and went in a completely different direction. That's okay, okay, okay. So my question is that why would it have to be King's Quest Seven that has to be remade to be the finale? You know, or, you know I mean, closure. they would they would they would have to ignore what happens in the actual King's Quest Seven in order to properly, you know, give closure to what King's Quest Six started. Why not just remake King's Quest Six to actually include the father? Because that would because that would because there's a little too much plot in King's Quest Six. It, it, it wouldn't, yeah, wouldn't, I agree. There would. So isn't it possible to just make a King's Quest game from the ground up then? Yes, it is. That's exactly what uh, the people, the, some fans were trying to make King's Quest 9 for the purpose. Then why don't, the problem then why don't is uh, there's that, a lot then? of te technical stuff and the problem of Activision suing their asses. It's very hard for wait, people. Wait, 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 wait. Activision could sue them even though they're not even making You have no idea. It? People tried recently to make a new Ghost and Goblins game, but Capcom uh, basically sued their asses. Yeah. 
Oh, there oh, he is. Hello. Uh oh, um, the enchanter has caught you in his lair. He twirls his hands. Uh, aims I was them just at you, looking and around and his stuff. <laughs> okay, guys, you've had me menaced for all this time, but now, as the so on you. attempts to transform uh, you, into you, you, you know, uh, this uh, this emerald that we got just got will be really useful in the Harry Potter movies. Of the just saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I agree. The enchanter's twisted <laughs> smile turns downwards. He scowls at you. Grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr